This video covers the different types of quantitative survey methods and the advantages and disadvantages of each. This type of information is perfect for a marketing research class or any other project where you might have to conduct a survey. There are six types of survey methods that you can use when conducting a survey. They include telephone, in-home, mall intercept, cap I, mail, and online. The first method, telephone, has several advantages. It's fast, has a high sample control, good control of field force, good response rates, and low moderate costs. Some disadvantages of telephone are no use of physical stimuli, limited to simple questions, and the quantity of data is low. The second type of survey method is in-home. The advantages of in-home surveys are complex questions can be asked, it's good for physical stimuli, there's very good sample control, there's a high quantity of data, and very good response rates usually happen. Some of the disadvantages of in-home surveys include low control of field force, high social desirability, the potential for interviewer bias, and it's the most expensive type of survey. The third type of surveying method is mall intercept. This type of survey has complex questions that can be asked, is very good for physical stimuli, is very good control of the environment, and has a very good response rate typically. Some of the disadvantages of this type of survey method are high social desirability, potential for interviewer bias, quantity of data is moderate, and it has a high cost also. The fourth method is CAPI. With CAPI, complex questions can be asked, it's very good for physical stimuli, very good control of the environment, and a very good response rate. There's also low potential for interviewer bias. Some of the disadvantages of a CAPI survey method are high social desirability, quantity of data is moderate, and the cost again is high. The fifth type of survey method is mail. With mail surveys, the advantages are no field force problems and no interviewer bias. Moderate to high quantity of data, social desirability is low, and there's low to moderate cost involved. Some of the disadvantages of this type of survey are limited to simple questions, low sample control for cold mail, no control over the environment, a low response rate for cold mail, and a low speed in order for everybody to return the survey. And finally, we come to the last method, which is online method. With the online method, some of the advantages are no field force problems, no interviewer bias, low costs, social desirability is low, and high speed. The disadvantages are limited to simple questions, low sample control, no quality control of environment, low response rates, and moderate quantity of data. As you can see, there are many options to consider when deciding on what survey method to use. Different methods will be best for different surveys depending on content and who the target sample is. This video should help you in deciding which would be best for your survey.